All right, welcome to another episode of V Shade. <laughs> it's uh, about 5.30 in the morning, uh, end game, and I am ready to set out for a new day of adventure, uh, a new day of painting and exploration. Uh, I kind of want to go back. Last time we were, uh, let's look at the map. Now, last time we checked out this entire area here and did quests, and we sort of peeked at Nava from the outside. I actually want to go in and see what Nava is like. Go explore a little bit, see what's going on there. So that's my goal today. Uh, one, to make it into the city, and two, to see if we can buy some of the supplies that I keep hearing about. Uh, see what it takes to purchase things. See if we can find some more quests today, things like that. So. Let's go ahead and cut across, save ourselves a little bit of time, uh, but I'm going to gather in the woods as I go along, you know, no wasted time, no wasted exploration, and uh, we'll catch some pretty views. Uh, we started out early in the day, so plenty of time to wander around. Oh, lovely. And some picnickers. <laughs> this is a beautiful place for a picnic. It would also be a really beautiful place to take uh, some screenshots and um, maybe do a painting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep exploring. Stay on task today. I don't want to get distracted. It is so easy to get distracted in this game, which is one of the things I love about it. You can just sort of wander around. And have a relaxed day or just really stay on task if you're in the mood to get a lot done. Um, anything goes. And that's that's what I love. Easy going games. Yeah. Gather some supplies. I think I get back on a path. This looks like the path to Nava. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. I think this is the bridge I need. Cool. Oh, there's a little side path. We'll have to come back to that and check out that little building. Okay. Oh, let's talk to him. Need a lift? Oh, okay. He goes to Lindo. Nice. All Not right, right now. Then. Not right now. Maybe later. Let's go to the bridge. Can we cross? No. Ah, yes, the newcomer. May I see your reference letters, please? Reference letters. References. I'm afraid if you're seeking passage into Narva, you'll need three reference letters from citizens of Eastshade, signed and sealed. Oh, really? How do we get references? Well, you need to find people who are willing to vouch for your character and writing. Since you're a newcomer, you'll have to make some friends in the country. Yeah. Will that be all, then? Uh, why do I need references? It hasn't always been this way, but lately we've been getting more newcomers than usual. We don't want to be unwelcoming to new folk, but we are trying to have some measure of security. Will hmm. that be all, then? Um, let's talk about something. Will nope. that be all, then? Yes, that's it. Stay safe now. Hmm, so I need references. I guess I will need this trip back to Lindo. Need a lift? Yes, I do. All right, then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Hello again. I overheard your conversation with Bojan. He'll be so excited to have you as a friend. He's a very special individual. <laughs> There's no one who loves rafting as much as he does. Hmm. Though he can be difficult at times, he's a kind soul. I appreciate your cordialness. Oh, sure. Hmm. Ooh, how can I make twine? Ah, a blossoming botanist, I see. To start, you'll need some roots. 
Okay. You can find them at the bases of trees. I can show you how to make twine, but it is a process. Okay. I see you're a painter. I would so love some artwork in my home. Oh, really? I'm quite partial to sandy beaches. Okay. What do you say? If you make me a painting, I'll teach you how to make twine. Done deal. I look forward to seeing your work. Hmm. Ooh, here we go. Admission into Nava. Any friend of Bojan's is a friend of mine. Here. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Mind the plants underfoot. Okay. Will do. Um, I think it probably counted oh, for him, runs. but. Well, is you lock? Big topic. Mission into Nava. I think Corona can do that. Hmm. Okay. See you around. We'll talk to the cartographer. Thanks again for the inky caps. I can finally get some work done now. <laughs> ah, here we go. Let's see if she'll do it. For a friend like you? Of course. Enjoy the city. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. See you. Ah. Oh, nice. So I think I probably only need maybe one or two more. Yeah. Ah, there she is. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Hmm. Pick topic. Admission into Nava. Can you help me out with that? Sure, I can do that for you. Oh, fantastic. Take care now. Nice. I just can't you? wait to go home and show everyone this magnificent portrait. The beauty of my <laughs> features entirely makes up for your lack of proper art training. Hmm. What did you... I will not write you a reference. We already have too many vagrants in Nava for my tastes. Well, that was rude. I'm not a vagrant. <laughs> All right, let's get to Nava. Would you like a ride to Nava? You've already paid the toll, so it will be free for you. Oh, of course. Yes, it's good enough. My ox is strong, no? Okay, let's see if we can get in. Do you have your references in order? I do, I do. Oh, yes, it appears everything is in order. Go right ahead, then. And welcome to Nava. Why, thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh. Oh, that's wonderful. Take a screenshot. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. This is great. Aha, I'm inspired. Beautiful. Hello. <laughs> yeah.
Well, let's go over here first. Looks like a nice little market. You talk? No. Woo! Supplies! Perfect! Hello? Oh dear! Oh no! I've done something terrible! I'm not sure if we've met before, but, but I'll need help! Really? What happened? Oh dear! This morning I sold some zucchinis! I thought they were zucchinis, but now I still have the zucchinis here in my basket! I sold toxic tubers! Oh god! I've no idea who I sold them to! Toxic tubers? What are the symptoms of that? Numb legs, upset stomach, and then oh, hours of vomiting. It's gonna how, be okay. How will this ever be okay? I'm ruined! Once was bad enough, but twice! Wait, you did this and before? Now people are gonna start being sick. There's so little time. I need to recover those tubers. Can you help me? I've got no one else to turn to. <laughs> yeah, sure. What can I do? Thank you, thank you. Please, just ask people if they bought any zucchinis today. Tell them what happened and get the tubers back. <laughs> I sold four zucchinis all together and I put them in blue bags. Maybe that could help you find them. Oh god. I hope no one has eaten any. <laughs> wow. Hmm, maybe he knows about talk. Oh, Leilani. <sighs> Who's Leilani? She's well, she works in the spice shop down in the lower market. She's not the best cook though. <laughs> but she's wonderful. I mean, you know, she's a great person. So kind, funny, thoughtful. We've been spending a lot of time together lately. Things are really so great between us. I think I want to ask her if she'll be my girlfriend. I want to be some more special when I ask her though. Some more magical and perfect. Like sitting on a golden cloud at sunset while butterflies circle around us. But you're probably not interested in this kind of thing. Hmm. Tell me more. She loves bread. So yesterday I baked her a loaf in the shape of a rose. We ate it together on a bench in the garden. It was so perfect. Oh my god. What if I already missed the perfect moment? I'm just so nervous to ask the question. Can you... Would you do me a favor? Can you find out Leilani's favorite place? I know it's kind of silly to dance around like this. I just want it to be special. Mm, sure, I can do that. You're the best. She works in the spice shop down in the lower market area. Let me know what you find out. Please hurry. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. All right, got a couple of quests already. Okay, so we're back at the beginning. Yeah, let's go down this way. Oh, a couple of kids playing in the water. Ooh, there's some supplies. Yeah. Hello? Well, hello there. Such a great day, isn't it? Absolutely. Ah. I just love days like this. Last night, I saw two shooting stars, and right then, I knew today was going to be a fine one. Ah, you're an artist? Oh, you must be very skilled. I can barely draw a straight line in the mud. <laughs> if you're feeling especially energetic, 
We could always use a hand in the fields. Hmm. We've got a lot of work down on the pea terraces. It can be draining, but I like to read in my free time. A nice book of poetry always boosts my spirits. Hmm. <laughs> you know anything about toxic tubers? What? Are you serious? Okay, well, I bought some, but I definitely didn't eat them. I'd never make that kind of mistake. I, uh, I just don't have them anymore. Threw them away. <laughs> I, I need to go now. Uh-oh. Later. That did not sound good. Ah, supplies! Well, looky Duda, we've got a fresh face. I haven't seen you in the city before, and I like to think I know just about everyone around here. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Osha. Some people around here call me the one glowstone guy because I'll buy anything for one glowstone. Any item under the sun and moon. Hmm. Just one glowstone. Just one. The way I see it, I already got just about everything I need in life. So nothing's worth more than one glowstone to me. There's only one thing that's worth more than a glowstone to me. One special thing. And that thing is... Mm -hmm. Mountain wart. I'll give you two for that. <laughs> two? What's mountain wart? It's pretty. Adds a nice burst of color to my pile here. <laughs> Um, let's see what I've got to sell. Hmm. I'll give you some blossom sacks. Okay. Howdy. Do you have anything for sale? Did I mention some people call me one glowstone guy? Well, I've got two nicknames around here. The other thing people call me is 500 glowstone guy. I only ever have one item for sale at a time, and I only sell anything for one price. Guess how much? <laughs> Uh, 500 glowstones? 500 glowstones. And what are you selling Seal right it. now? <laughs> Why See, I like it? to buy things and hold on to them. At any given time, there's always one thing that everyone needs and nobody has. And I just make sure I happen to have it. Right now, that thing is sealant. The woodworkers need it for weatherproofing, the engineers need it for pipe making, and the fisher folk need it for boat building. Mm -hmm. Apparently the shipment that was coming ran a reef, which is just the kind of news I like to hear. <laughs> yes, I was Oh, there. were you now? That was your ship, huh? Well, I'm very glad you made it, and I'm very glad the cargo didn't. <laughs> Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 glowstones. Is there any other way? Hmm. There's only one thing I want that I can't seem to get. But I'm not sure you can help. What is it? I want to get into that fancy club. The Roots. They're such exclusive little buggers. I need the password to get in. No idea who to talk to about that. Get me that password, and I'll give you the sealant. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it was funny. Oh, hilarious. Let's keep checking stuff out. 
All right, let's look at this one. Sea Power Goddess. The cultist group known as the Roots promotes questionable activity and waste of holly leaves. Their actions contribute to an unsafe city and risk invoking the wrath of our beloved goddess. Do your part. Report cultists. Symbol of evil. Report suspicious root activity to the Shea Temple located on the Tiffmore Bluffs. Receive Godum, Goddess Tiam's blessing. Eradicate the enemy. Oh, wow. Huh. I wonder what that's all about. You Hello. made it to Nava! You still have the pastries, right? Oh, this is gonna be great! Okay, my brother's sitting at the table right outside the bakery. I'll go over to him first, then you follow behind. Remember, make him think you're a normal delivery person. Okay. Alright. Let's hope this works. I think I might get eaten by a bear. Ah, supplies. Very nice. Can I help you? I have a delivery. Good. I've been expecting a delivery. Give it here. Hmm. It looks like someone's rifled Trudy's. They're a little crushed, too. A little hmm. crushing isn't gonna ruin the tangy, sublime, gorgeous taste of raspberries. Oh, what? <laughs> what's happening to me? This is, this is the most revolting, sickening. Uh oh, this flavor, grape, my tongue, it'll never be the same. What despicable baker would make an error so unforgivable? Got you. Uh, and Neo, this my brother's idea of a prank? Poisoning a person's taste buds with the most repulsive <laughs> flavor ever invented. Uh-oh. Hilarious. I can't believe you actually got me. And Neo's always trying to do these ridiculous pranks. Usually I can see him from a mile away. <laughs> messing around with great pastries? That's some risky business. You should be proud. I'm not easily pranked. <laughs> All right, we did it. That was perfect. I couldn't picture it going any better. He totally thought you were a delivery person. <laughs> this one will go down in family history. You should look into doing this for a living. I don't have much to give you, but seeing my brother eat a great pastry was just priceless. <laughs> That's great. Oh... Got some glowstones out of that. Very nice. Ah, let's keep looking through the market. It's not, this is fun. It's a pretty little market. Oh, that's a little rainbow chicken. What can I brew you up? Hmm, a tea cellar. Let's look at what you got. Mountain wort tea, sometimes called walker's tea. The mountain wort elevates the heart and spirit, and hikers swear by it. Makes the miles fly by. Hmm, that sounds like a speed tea, maybe. And meadow spice mead, sure to keep you warm on a cold, shady night. This brew is made with honey from the apiaries of Ishade's remote west coast. Hmm. Nope. I don't think I'll buy anything right now. Hmm. Hi, Hello. Man. I mainly work in furniture, but by the looks of your pack, I doubt you're interested in buying a table or chair. Yeah. Not to worry, though. I've got just the thing. How would you like to buy a handcrafted wooden bike? Hmm. That sounds awesome. How much is that? 80 glowstones. Hmm, I don't have that much right now. Oh, well, if you ever do, I've got plenty in stock. They take me a good while to make, but I'm getting faster at it. Got to keep up with the demand. Hmm. Hi again. Ready to buy a bicycle yet? You'll get around a lot faster. Hmm. No. Get 
your news here. Get your news here. Okay. Receive Shady in post tea season. Let's look at that. Uh, books, maybe? Yeah. Shady and post. Tea season blooms on the island. Air thick with the scent of building herbs and brewing teas. It can only mean one thing. The season for wild crafting has finally arrived. Herbal flowers and tea leaves are coming into bloom. And East Shadians, young and old, are eager to fill their baskets with the finest cuttings. Thanks to the shared fields law, all of these delicious plants are free for the plucking. While locals are well aware of and very secretive about the best collection areas, tourists are encouraged to explore the land and collect what they find. Be forewarned, the herb black thistle remains an endangered species and should not be collected under any circumstances. Happy harvesting. Reported by Esther Clearwell. Okay. Oh, cool. Did you pick up a paper? Uh, yes, I did. Would you like to donate a glowstone to the Shady and Post so we can keep the paper free without ads and unmotivated by pop news and tabloid <laughs> journalism? Uh, Thank sure. you for your contribution. Sure, sure. The Heart Root. Join us to hear the riveting tale of the Heart Root. Seven o'clock tonight at the Tarnished Teapot. Oh. Hey, painting supplies. Nice. Let's keep going around. Oh. A fish market? Just because I'm an owl folk doesn't mean I can't control myself around copious amounts of fresh fish. Mm-hmm. Okay, sometimes I eat some of the stock, but it's my shop after all. <laughs> what do you have for sale? Oh, she's the one with the fishing pole. Yeah, I wanted to come to town to get that. Let's get one. Nice. And then some fish. Nice. What crunchy scales. Scrumptious raw fish. I can't wait until dinner time. <laughs> do I have any fish to sell? No, I do not. Okay. Okay, it's a good place to sell my fish. Perfect. Good day. Ah, browse good. What do you have for sale? Oh, I love it. A tea kettle. Make tea wherever you go with herbs and a suitable heat source. Must be used at a fire or stove. Zip trolley. The perfect tool to travel via zip line. Okay. Wow, that's 70. Okay. I'm going to have to save up my, my crystals. Well, well, well. Your clothes are looking a little scrappy. Bet you're just about to freeze to death come nightfall. If you're ever looking to upgrade your attire, I'm sure I have just the thing. Oh, perfect. Let's, um, look at what you got. Okay, the coat. Oh, nice. Yeah, that would be good. Do not have the crystals. Well, well, well. What else can we talk about? Toxic tubers. I didn't try to buy any zucchinis. I grow my own at home. <laughs> Poor Tam. He tries, but things just don't seem to work out for him. Hmm. Do you know anything about the root? A group of degenerates. They lay in pools of water, drinking hallucinogenic teas and raving about their otherworldly experiences. Hmm. They'll try to trick you into believing it only alters your dreams, but don't believe them. Their goal is to consume all the tea that rightfully belongs to the goddess Tiem, and the authorities are utterly useless in the matter. If you want to support and aid the sanctity of the tea, you should seek out the Shez as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. What about the Shez? The Shez are the religious group that actually uses the teas out of respect for our goddess Tien. They have a temple on the Tifmore Bluffs. 
Okay. If you know anything about the Roots cult, you should tell them. Hmm. Okay. Bye. Hmm. I wonder if she knew anything. Good day. Big topic. Okay. One thing I can say about the folks here. They never ask for swords. Which pleases me greatly, because swords are just about the most boring things you could ask a blacksmith to make. <laughs> the only thing more boring than making a sword is being dead. Which, coincidentally, is what swords are used for. Which is another reason why I'm glad folks around here don't ask me to make them. <laughs> I'd rather make a kettle any day of the week. Okay. See you later. Later. Okay. Yeah, we were headed this way. Let's keep going. Uh-oh. Oh, what is it? Uh, are you alright? I feel like I just ate a huge bite of death. Did you eat All some I tubers? All I was a zucchini. I, I mean, it looked weird, but it tasted really good. Oh, great. Yeah, I bought one. Ate it already. Oh, how long is this gonna last? It'll be over before you know it. I'm gonna kill Ted. <laughs> okay, I'll be going now. Feel oh, better. Oh, this is horrible. Hey, some supplies. Well, let's go into this building. Looks like I can go in over here. Oh, no plants. Welcome to Yevony's Art Gallery and Supply. And before you ask, no, I'm not Yevony. And if you came to request a commission, unfortunately we can't help with that either. Yevony is totally backed up at the moment, but we do have painting supplies in stock. Oh, you take commissions. Yes, but we're full, as I said. Normally folks just need to write down what they want and Yevony will paint it for them. The best painter in Nava, that Yevony. She's been mm -hmm. painting her whole life and doing commissions for at least 40 years. These days, she's spending more and more of her time on personal work. Good for her, I say, but still. We can't keep up with commissions like we used to, and demand is only growing. Maybe I could help. Oh, are you a painter? We've been looking for someone to help with the workload, but so far no one's been up to Yevany's standards. Do you have a portfolio I can look at? Wow, your work is so detailed. You should show this to Yevany. She lives in the common tower. That's the big round building in the middle. Oh, really? You might just be the painter we need. She'll absolutely want to see at least three paintings, though. Anything I can help with? Need some supplies? Hmm, let's see what he has. Ah, there we go. Canvas and fabric. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm good right now, though. Okay. All right, let's keep looking here. Let's see what else we have. Welcome, friend. Would you like a guaranteed long and healthy life? Um, yeah. My elixir will fortify you with the strength and vigor. Imagine a longer life for you and your loved ones, sourced from hot springs around the island. This water is guaranteed to give you an extra 20 years, at least. At least. How do you know it works? Some of my longtime customers are practically living history books. They've been drinking the elixir for years, and not a day have they aged. <laughs> Is this backed by any Of course. Studies? Just look at all these happy people. They love it, and it works perfectly for them. 
each of my customers is a testament to the strength of this powerful elixir. So, what do you say? The water is sourced from the life-giving springs of East Shade. <laughs> ah, elixir of life. Cost ten. Okay. Hmm. Interested in a book? Yeah, let's look at your books. Fish of the Fell Stream River. A helpful fishing guide and classic shady and teas. Oh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Supplies. Perfect. All right. So I found the painting store. Found where I could buy some more supplies and canvas. It's very useful. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, we will go uh, investigate this tall tower next time. And check it all out. <laughs> Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. That helps out my channel so much. And if you're new uh, to this video series and you're enjoying it, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I'll keep making videos. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good one.